This is the Slip Fence Gate Kit instructions to build a six-foot horizontal gate. Once you've completed your horizontal slip fence, the last stage is to build and install your slip fence horizontal gate. The building materials needed, but not included in the gate kit, to build a standard six-foot high by approximately 48-inch wide gate are two pieces of 2x4x8 foot lumber, two pieces of 2x4x10 foot lumber, 13 pieces of 1 inch by 5.5 inch deck boards cut to the width of the gate, and a 100 pack of 2 inch deck screws. Take a measurement between your gate posts and subtract 1.5 inches. This is the length to cut the top and bottom 2x4 rails for your gate frame. For a horizontal gate, cut two more pieces of 2x4 lumber to 59 inches each. These are the side rails of your gate frame. Lay these four cut boards on a flat surface and place the sides of the gate frame inside the top and bottom rails, creating a rectangular frame. The side facing up is the inside of your gate that you will pull toward you when hung. Attach the four corner brackets that are not labeled H to the inside of the frame with the wood screws provided and gussets down on the flat surface. Use all screw holes, if possible, for a tight fit. Take the two brackets marked H and position these onto the outside corners of the hinge side of your gate, sliding the gussets underneath the frame, so all gussets are on the bottom side of the frame. Screw these brackets to the frame, using only the two bracket holes closest to the end of the bracket, so there are only two screws in each bracket at this point. A cross brace is recommended for vertical gates 40 inches and wider, and all horizontal gates for strength and to prevent sagging. To create a diagonal cross brace for added stability, lay another piece of 2x4 lumber underneath the frame diagonally between the bottom hinge side corner to the top latch side corner. Pencil cut marks on the 2x4 and cut to fit. Cut the cross member to size and place it inside the frame on its correct angle. You may need to tap the ends with a rubber mallet to get the cross member to fit. Then, flip the frame over and fasten the cross member to the bracket gussets with the wood screws provided. Before fastening the hinges to the frame, flip the frame back over so all of the gussets on the angle brackets are positioned down on the flat surface. Position the hinges on top of the outside brackets so that the inside flange holes of the hinge meet the two remaining screw holes in the side of the bracket. To loosen up the hinge, making it easier to attach to the frame, use a flathead screwdriver and simply press down on the top barrel of the hinge to turn clockwise, then release. Once the proper holes of the hinge flange are aligned with the holes of the outside bracket, using the wood screws in the hinge bag, proceed to screw through the hinge holes and bracket holes into the edge of the wood frame. Repeat this for the bottom hinge. Then screw in the face of the hinge to the frame, filling the screw holes in the hinges to the wood frame. For a horizontal gate, align the top gate frame rail two and three quarter inches below the top of the top board of your fence line and attach the frame to the gate with the self-drilling screws provided. Make sure the gate frame is level and plumb before adding fence boards. For a horizontal gate, Cut 13 boards to the desired width of the finished gate. Start at the top board, leveling it with the top board of the fence line and fasten with two inch or two and a quarter inch deck screws, not included, to the gate frame from the inside so no screw heads are seen from the outside. If you purchased the optional horizontal cap rail for your slip fence system and one extra for the gate, simply cut the cap rail to size, slip it on top of the highest gate board, and fasten with two self-drilling screws included in the kit. Attach the gate latch using the gate latch instructions available at slipfence.com. For black straps to emulate stringers on vertical gates and channels on horizontal gates as seen in the slip fence gate gallery, please refer to slipfence.com to purchase separately. Slip Fence, made to last. Don't build something that ain't-